doing a reenactment of this book called Chasing Lincoln's Killer by James Swanson. We're going to be doing the three most important um, scenes in this book. Um, warning that some of this, um, some of these scenes might be a little bit graphic, so viewer discretion advised. April 11, 1865. Hey, what's going on, John? How are you? I'm doing great. How are My you? name's Lewis Powell. Yeah, my name's John Lewis. Well, John, I feel the South has fallen. The South, the war must be not, must not be over. But Richmond has fallen already. I feel like we should pick off the government one by one. But we've tried other stuff. We've tried kidnapping the president. We've tried other things. What are you suggesting now? Assassinating. How are you going to do that? How are you going to assassinate the president, John? He's going to be at, um, he's going to be at Ford's Theater four days from now. Okay. I know the theater like the back of my hand. How do you and know that theater so well? Because I'm a famous actor. Ah, that's right. You've done many plays there, haven't you, John? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? I'm going to sneak up behind him, open the doors, sneak up behind him on the president's box, and shoot him right in the head. The Derringer. What the Derringer Mary Serrata gave me. Wow, the Derringer is a 44 caliber. It's only one shot. That's pretty dramatic. Well, because I like it dramatic. Ah, what do you think uh, George here should do? He should go after Vice President Johnson. You alright with that, George? Yeah. You should You should take on Seward. I can do that. I can take David Harold as a lookout with me if you want me to. I heard that Seward's right here in Washington, but he's he been he fell off his horse or something and he's been sick in his house. So I can go after him with Harold as a lookout. Okay. Is that a plan? Yeah. Alright. Mary, I just love coming to the Ford Theater and watching plays. I know. It's just, this place is such a display of art. It's fabulous when this play was going to be seen. I heard it's the American Cousin. It's one of the better plays that's out right now. I know. It's going to be amazing. Well, enjoy the show tonight. <coughs> Scene. I'm going to be acting as Fanny Seward. This is Sergeant Robinson, and Dad is going to be coming in the wall as Lewis Powell. Hey, hey. Oh, who is Nathan learning stuff out? Oh, no! Oh, oh, I misfired. Kirkwood House, April 14th, 1865. Vice President Johnson is on the second floor of the Kirkwood House. It is, it is George Adderall's job to go and assassinate him, but he decides not to. I gotta go upstairs and kill him. I gotta go upstairs and kill him. Who? <clears throat> I gotta kill him. I gotta go now. George Azerold fled from the mission to um, murder Vice President Johnson. He never um, approached him, and Vice President Johnson lived on to become the President of the United States um, right after Lincoln. So after we visited Dr. Mudd's home to get, um, to get his leg fixed up and getting a crutch, he entered a barn and got cornered by the 27th Union Regiment. Got you surrounded, just both crawling out with your hands up and surrender. I'm never coming out. The South will live on. I'm gonna light this barn on fire and burn you alive. I don't care. The South will still live on. I'm not Take a shot if you think he's gonna fire at us. The rising sun nudged above the horizon and colored the eastern sky, flooding the garret farm with light, which shone on Booth's face. The stage grew dark for him. His body shuddered. John Wilkes Booth was dead. The 12-day chase for Abraham Lincoln's assassin was over. <laughs>